before we get too off into the story of this GMC Envoy roof rack, I want to tell you another story. This is a story of a man who took perfectly good canoes and kayaks and turned them into monstrosities meant to sail, but with no experience in sailing, produced what you see here. Uh, I produced this back in 2011, um, mostly because these sheets were left over from my wedding. And I said, what could I make with these? And of course, I thought, sailboat, yeah, that's a great idea. Uh, and ever since then, I have uh, perhaps had an unreasonable uh, obsession with sailing kayaks, uh, or sailing in general. Uh, at one point, I even purchased a 19-foot sailboat. Um, uh, but taking it in and out of the water was just too much of a hassle uh, with kids and everything, so... I converted over to what I originally wanted and what was originally the, you know, kind of the inspiration for building this, and that was this, the Hobie Adventure Island. Now, this one should have a sail um, similar to this, and uh, but it, the guy I bought it off of, off of uh, did not have it, and uh, I got a, got, a good, got it for a good price. Um, but this is it. This is it. This is it on the water on the first day out and uh, just really loved it. I uh, can't wait to purchase the sail and or make one. We'll see. <laughs> I still have the, the sheet slash uh, sail, which, by the way, that is not the right material for a sail. Don't 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 do it. It's fun. If you want to do it for fun, that's fine. But it is not the right material. OK, with that out of the way, let's get down to business. Um, so I broke out the 3D scanner, scanned um, my kayak, and I scanned uh, my Envoy. Um, I then got a rough idea of spacing uh, using real-world dimensions, and then I kind of propped up these, uh, these this kind of like a mock-up of what I wanted. Uh, and that was mostly to see, you know, what would this look like up here, um, and just to kind of get a, a general idea of what that's going to look like going down the road. How silly is that going to look? And uh, honestly, it, worked, it looks pretty darn good. Uh, we'll come back to this in a moment. But uh, for now, uh, after we did that, we looked at materials that we had on site. We 3D printed out a couple of these, uh, placed a bar across the top, and made sure we had clearance. Um, I've created a plan of this, and I'll have that at the end of the video and in a link down below. So as you can see, we're not quite, you know, kosher here, right? So there's an angle here, there's an angle. Why is that? I ended up uh, putting this upside down on here because there are black supports that run across uh, the length of this. You can see them here and here, and that's where the amaz go. And I wanted these to fit down uh, so that they would come into contact either side of this and help hold it in place. Uh, so... We kind of use that angle to our advantage, and uh, you can see that in the actual assembly here. All right, enough talk, enough talking. Uh, let's let's play the montage.
right, so I've tack welded all four corners on all of them uh, just to get it all set in place. Now I'm going to disassemble all of these and weld them over on the ground. This needs more cowbell. This won't work. everyone thanks for watching uh, hopefully you uh, you were inspired to get out on the lake and uh, you know make your own uh, rooftop kayak holder I have to say I am really enjoying the Hobie uh, Adventure Island here this Mirage Drive just spectacular I mean smooth and you just go I mean here watch that Isn't that? Ah, that's just the best I'm heading back in, go get some lunch. I uh, hope you guys have a, a great time doing whatever it is you're doing. And uh, maybe you should stop watching this YouTube video and get out on the lake. Can't be in the shop all the time. Hey, don't go just yet. Uh, here are the plans I promised. Uh, you'll find them in a link down below for a PDF you can download. These are half scale. Um, feel free to weld them like I did, or maybe you can use bolts, whatever you uh, want. But you can use this as a jumping off point uh, for whatever you plan on doing. Uh, sorry for the noise. Uh, my wife uh, just went out and bought something and is backing hey, it Hey, what are you doing? Um, uh, just finishing up this outro. Hey, you should come out and look at what I just got. Oh, all right. Yeah, sure. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Ah. Babe! <laughs>